Welcome to Bridges here at CBRC.tv. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. Hi, good evening, Dr. Evelyn Songko at sa mga viewers ng ating Bridges. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Another... And hello, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon to our uh, viewers on Bridges here on CBRC.tv. Welcome to Bridges here at CBRC.tv. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. Hi, good evening, Dr. Evelyn Songko at sa mga viewers ng ating Bridges. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again. Another... And hello, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon to our uh, viewers on Bridges here on CBRC.tv. Welcome to Bridges here at CBRC.tv. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. This show is brought to you by the UST Alumni Association, Inc. and the College of Nursing, Class 1970, Philippines. This is your host, Evelyn Songko, and with me, my co-host today or this afternoon, evening na pala. Now, this evening is... Mr. Chito Maniago. Wow, Mr. hello. Chito, uh, hello. Good evening hello, to you, Chito. Professor Evelyn Sonko, our educator, our servant leader, <laughs> our visionary. Nako ma, talagang um, it feels great to be home. Ano po? And uh, of course, I am truly honored to join you tonight. At sa lahat po ng mga viewers natin, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Na nakakatuwa chito ha. Apa. Nakakatuwa. Magkasama tayo tonight. Apa. And parang kailan lang naaalala ko no, president ka ng Faculty of uh, Arts and Letters Student Council. At ngayon magkasama na tayo. I'm so happy because tonight parang yung guest natin kapareho mo din. No? Natutuwa ako kasi alam mo siya yung guest natin, servant leader. Ano masasabi mo, Chito? Nako, totoo po yan, ma'am. Um, it feels like as if it was just yesterday, ano po, nung uh, may mga <laughs> activities po tayo, Paskuhan, may baha, <laughs> tumutulong po tayo sa mga estudyante, community outreach, name it, you have it. And uh, siguro, ma'am, I'd like to take this perfect opportunity to thank you and of course, UST. Uh, dahil po yeah. yung, formation, yung formation po talaga sa UST ay Napakaganda. Uh, it really prepares you for the real world, uh, Ma'am Songko. Ayan po. At dahil magkapareho kayo, Chito, ng ating guest, ikaw na yung magpapakilala. Okay lang ba na sa'yo? Introduce him. Naku, opo. Uh, of course, we are truly excited to welcome our special guest for tonight. Um, Kiel Mariano graduated from the completing batch of 2017 from the UST Junior High School. And batch 2019 from the UST Senior High School. Batang-bata po, Ma'am Songko. Kasing edad lang po natin. <laughs> he was awarded the Exemplary Service Award and, of course, the Quezon Leadership Award. His passion for service moved him to initiate the program called Streets to Schools. Ayan, no? We will learn more about that later on. Alongside his friends, uh, Mam Songko. And this uh, team effort was awarded twice. First, by the 10 Accomplished Youth Organization Awards or Thai Awards. Uh, kung hindi po ako nagkakamali sa National Youth Commission po yan. And of course, the United Nations Population Fund Philippines. Education for Sustainable Development Awards in Okayama, Japan. Wow, very global uh, ang, ang ating uh, guest uh, for tonight, Ma'am Songko. No? And also recently, he was conferred the Youth Service America Everyday Hero Award. Wow, 
talaga naman pong uh, worthy of emulation para sa mga kabataan ngayon. Alam niyo po, he champions youth involvement towards achieving the Global Goals for Sustainable Development or the SDGs and ensuring that children's rights are valued and respected. He dreams of contributing to the improvement of the healthcare system in the Philippines. Wow, napakagaling. For the future, which is why he involves himself in meaningful community service activities to empathize with the situations of those left behind most. Currently, he is a sophomore at the USD College of Nursing. Ladies and gentlemen and friends, please welcome to the show, Kiel. And uh, congratulations, of course, for waving the USD banner up high. Magandang gabi, Kiel. Ayan, Ma'am Songko. Hello, po. Good evening. Yeah. Welcome to the show, Kiel. Alam mo, ikaw ang pinakabata naming naging guest. Siyempre, hero ka kasi. Kaya I'm very, very happy that you are now in our show. Siyempre, kahit sinabi kong you are the youngest, eh hindi ko tatanungin yung iyong edad. Pero you <laughs> greet our viewers first. Yeah. yeah, of course. Hello, welcome to Bridges, to everyone. It's nice to meet you all kahit virtual and... Uh, Siyempre, kahit ako youngest, I'm sure we're all young at heart. <laughs> and I really look forward to ano pa po, uh, share this story of hope to everyone, especially young people like me who want to contribute change. And of course, to those who at young at heart, now it's never too late to make a difference. Wow. I Kel, you know, what I'm really interested in is how did you become interested in the plight of the street children? Okay, so it started back in 2016 when we joined the Young Bridging Leaders Program. It was a program under AILA Philippines and the Asian Development Bank. And we wanted to create sustainable development goal projects here in UST. So we figured that there were some street children around the university who needed our help, who needed to have a platform to go back to school. So talagang... We did our best na kahit madami kaming requirements noon, we gave time to educate them, to uh, give them hope na they're not just living on the streets anymore. Uh, they can go back to school and receive that safe space na they can learn, they can engage in their interests, and most importantly, have a future. Kasi because living on the streets, they think na they're not worth anything anymore. And since we grew up in privileged uh, backgrounds, it's so difficult for us to think na uh, uh, wala tayong future or wala tayong kinabukasan. Pero for these children who lived in poverty all their lives, talagang, it, you know, dreaming shouldn't cost anything. It should be free. And this YBL program really taught us na young people can contribute to change regardless of how young they are. Fantastic. Ang galing po, uh, Ma'am Songko, ano, parang... Um... At, yes. a very, at a very young age, no? uh, talagang mulat uh -oh. na po siya sa mga yeah. realities ng buhay. <laughs> And you know, um, one could not uh, wonder, kasi para ngayon, pag sinasabing mga millennials, iba-iba ang um, ginagawa, iba-iba ang priorities. Di ba, Ma'am Songko, uh, maaaring sa ibang punto, nagmo-mall or nag-Facebook, nag-Netflix. Pero itong si Kel, kita natin talagang parang Very clear na yung vision niya, uh, Ma'am Songko. No? So, Kel, I'd like to ask, um, very important ba yung naging uh, extracurricular activities, yung exposure natin uh, sa USD, for example, no, sa junior high school? Um, can you tell us more about your involvement in uh, several activities when you were sure. still high school, uh, when you started? So, uh, I liked when you mentioned yung managma mall or nagni Netflix kasi I'm no different from other young people. I also like doing those. So, uh, I love watching Alice in Borderland or any shows <laughs> that come out on Netflix. Talagang kumikilig rin po ako sa doon. It's just that uh, there's a sense of urgency po kasi sa world natin. Uh, so many things need to have solutions. And uh, I'm really positive na UST Junior High School was able to mold me into solving these problems kasi... Um, for example, the Aquinian, it's the student publication of the USD Junior High School, one of the oldest organizations there. And it is there where we love to tell stories of people who have done 
who have done their part in making the world a better place, and those who made UST Junior High School proud. So we wrote about articles about our Tiger Cubs. We wrote about articles of those who won in inter-school competitions. And I even competed in those inter-school competitions as well. And it's that tool of storytelling po that allow us to say that there are so many problems in this world that need our that are need that need our participation. Because even though we're young, even though we're in school, we need to learn how to give time. Because eventually, these problems we will inherit them. We will have to be the ones to solve them. Because we're gonna be the future adult. So, uh, why not start earlier, po, no, to solve them? And UST Junior High School, along with Student Catholic Action, English Forum, and other organizations, for really helped me in, parang awakening that side of service, po, that shouldn't be done for the rewards or the or the medals or the recognitions, but it should be done purely because we love people and humanity. Nice. Oh my God. <laughs> I am so happy listening to you. You know, <laughs> that's you, very good. Actually, I'm so happy kasi alam mo yun, yung bata ka pa pero iniisip mo, normal naman yung circumstance mo. Nag-Netflix ka, nagsa-social media ka, but yet, there is balance. You know? Kahit no, may ginagawa what... kang mga, yung nakakatuwa, na ginagawa ng mga bata, no? katulad mo, kasing edad mo, but yet, you know, there is a space in your heart that tells you, wow, merong kailangan gawin. Merong yes, kailangan gawin para mag-improve itong aming situation nakakatuwa at nakuha mo yan ha sa extracurricular activities mo. So ano nga yan ang tingin mo uh, sa relevance ng extracurricular activities sa buhay ng mga estudyante? Pero ikaw kasi nag-aral ka din ng mabuti, di ba? Tama ba, Kiel? Oo, so ano yung relevance ng extracurricular activities mo? At, ng, at saka ng mga ibang estudyante? Yeah. So, yung extracurricular activities po kasi, they're a good source of our 21st century soft skills na talagang kailangan po matutunan ng mga people like us. So, that's the ability to present in front of people, the ability to collaborate, the ability to uh, talk to other people na from different social classes. These are all taught in extracurricular activities, especially if you love joining community development projects under the Simbahayan, for example. And um, even up until now, kahit I have streets to schools, I have uh, I have nursing classes. I'm still trying to join organizations like Medical Missions Incorporated dito sa nursing. So kahit online setting, we're learning how to manage tools, how to learn uh, the essentials of medical missions in communities. Because this is where we're trying to develop yung empathy natin towards other people. So um, because... There are a lot of problems, like I mentioned. Kailangan po na po natin ma, ma train yung empathy na yon. Siguro kasi um, extracurricular activities like joining competitions or simple outreach programs. They're able to develop this concept called ikigai. So it's like a four parentheses um, uh, concept where you do things out of love, you do things that you get paid for, you do things that you are extremely passionate about. And you do things that could actually give you recognition. So in Streets to Schools, sobrang thankful po ako na I'm able to live that ikigai mindset na everything I can do is helping kahit konting stipend lang po I, I get returned or sa, while being able to do everything out of love. Pure sincerity lang po kasi yung Streets to Schools. It was born from, uh, from a moment na I thought I didn't know who I wanted to become anymore. And because Streets to Schools was born, it turned out that this was my calling, this was my purpose in life. Po, no? It's to give back as much as possible. Not because it is easy, but because we have to. And we need to remind young people that um, even though we have a lot of interests, even though we still watch Netflix, we still watch movies in the cinemas, we need to give time to these people. I'm so happy listening to you. Alam mo ba? nakaka-inspire ka. And I'm so happy for your family, ah. Napakaswerte nila, anak nila. And I'm They're sure, <laughs> napakaswerte yeah. nila dahil anak nila yung mga kapatid mo. No? Yes. That's really talking or, or showing how our family is. No? 
Yan, Chito, na-experience mo, I'm sure na-experience mo yung experience ngayon at nararamdaman ngayon ni uh, Kiel. Tama ba ako, Chito, Totoo, when you are a student leader? Totoong totoo yan, ma'am. Uh, una sa lahat, while listening to Kiel, talagang kinikilabutan ako. Talagang nakakabilib ang batang ito, mami. No? At, um, you know, it, it, uh, it is clearly a testament po, mami, no, na we can learn even from, from young people. No? Just listening to them, yung sincerity nila talaga nagre-resonate. No? Um, just to answer your question, ma'am, yes, no, um, Alam niyo po kasi ang uh, ang um, ginagawa natin uh, sa UST no when we are when we were student leaders napaka holistic ng ano ng approach natin uh, ma'am Songko no ang ganda nung sinabi niya na ikigay uh, mindset na you know we are studying hard but at the same time um yung heart natin no for for our stakeholders for our community members nandoon and i think this is really what sets us apart uh, from other Nako, wag na lang po tayo magbanggit. <laughs> uh, from, from from other ano, from, from other schools pero Baka proud masyado kang passionate ta. Palaging <laughs> proud na proud po ako yon na, na sinasabi, uh, mami, very holistic yung formation po natin sa USC. So congratulations, uh, Kiel. No? So which leads me to my question, uh, Kiel, etong desire mo to help um, eh, the young people of today na no? yung mga kabataan Paano yan nag-grow no? sa, sa sarili mo? Parang, what triggered it? Parang what was the tipping point when you told yourself, I want to do this? Okay, so uh, very important po kasi talaga yung UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. So UNCRC, it is the most ratified human rights treaty all over the world. And I think yung hindi lang po nag-ratify nito is the US and some other countries but the UNCRC is a guiding principle to help uh, countries like the Philippines to create policies that best uh, commits to the welfare of children. And we look at children as parang an investment. We look at children as just mere beneficiaries in the household. But we forget that these children are going to inherit this world. My isang important nga na Native American mantra na we do not inherit the world from our ancestors. We simply borrow it from our children. So every moment na of climate change, every moment of injustice that we see, eventually it's going to be our children's problems. And our job today as the younger generation, as millennials or as teenagers, I di na pa pala ako teenager. <laughs> um, as young people, our job is to make it less difficult for them so that when it's their turn to solve it, they ha- we have their backs. We have... They know that they could count on us for their support. Now, we're not just going to uh, downplay them. We're not, we're not going to tell them na, you're too young to make a difference. Uh, or kaya naman, kahit nung high school, sinabihan ako, um, you, uh, that shouldn't be your problem yet. Let the adults fix it. But the problem is, kaya we're pushing too hard because things aren't moving fast enough. And if young people realize na we could push as well, eh di mas mabibilis yung action for that sustainable development goals or the problems that na we experience ng, ng mga natin. it's not because uh, we're too young it's it's because we we have to have guidance from adults like you guys po and we just need that certain direction po kasi kaya adults really love mentoring the younger generation right and if we could connect as one people then eventually we're going to make the world a better place naman po not just for us but most importantly for the rights of children ayan ang ganda ulit ng sinabi niya uh, ma'am Songko no uh, my key takeaway kel sa sinabi mo you are very correct at the end of the day yung mga kabataan ng pag-asa ng bayan di ba sabi yes. ng NSA Rizal <laughs> so we really have to invest on them and we really have to groom them for the future uh, how about you ma'am Songko what can you say well, actually, uh, I think, no, talagang uh, Kiel already embraced the mission of serving. Kaya nga, eh, hindi, siya nagsis- hindi na niya hinintay na tumanda pa siya para magsilbe. You know, he, Kiel did not wait anymore uh, so that he becomes uh, advanced in age before he finds time to serve. But he started serving. And that, I think, is because of his exposure. Also, of course, extracurricular activities in the high school. 
but also because of his uh, exposure to the UN conventions, yeah. to the ideas of the rights of children, and sustainable development. Alam ko marami kang kwento about the street children. Hindi yes. ba, Kiel? Tell, <laughs> tell me, tell us, tell our viewers, ano yung mga kwento na uh, maisishare mo tungkol sa kanila? At pwede siguro na ito ang nagkaroon din ng impact aside from the UN conventions na nagbigay sa nag, nagkaroon ng impact sa iyo sa sense of service mo uh, yung mga kwento ng mga street children street children naka-impact din yon sa iyo tama yes, ba Kiel so, how uh, so most importantly is when we're at the field work when we're volunteering we don't really call them beneficiaries we call them co-learners kasi uh, our job there is not just to help them, but it's also to learn from them. Because not every child is the same. They have different situations, different backgrounds. And uh, there's this one talagang very inspiring story. Na, this is the reason why I don't give up. This is the reason why I wake up in the morning eager to help out. So uh, there's, a, there's a street child living po in Manila North Cemetery. So they live inside the Manila North Cemetery. Po. And... Um, the reason why she dropped out of school is not because she didn't have any school materials or it's because of poverty, but it's because as simple as bullying. That's why there's so many anti-bullying campaigns in high schools or elementary, but it still happens. Tapos, in, in her case, because she didn't know how to read or write, her classmates made fun of her. They told her na, ah, ba't ka pa nag-aaral? Di ka naman marunong magbasa eh. Or even some, uh, some higher uppers, they even called her, uh, grade 5 ka na pero di ka pa marunong magbasa. Paano ka na kaya sa high school? So this was her reason for giving up in school. And if we could motivate her na, you know, don't listen to them. Uh, prove them wrong by storytelling to them a book. And that's what gave birth to yung sa ladders to literacy. Because we wanted to conquer that inability to, inability to read and write by having them publish their own storybook. So when they go to school, nice. hindi lang sila nakapagpakita na marunong na siya magbasa at magsulat, pero may hawak siyang storybook to tell them. Mm. O marunong na magbasa, tara, sabay-sabay tayo mag-storytelling. And that's the level of impact we want to do all around the Philippines and even all over the world para people get to learn about our sustainable development goals. Fantastic, mommy. Nako. Wonderful, oh, wonderful. <laughs> the ba? Oh, and, and they're connecting it with with sustainable development. I, I, alam mo yon yung para kang eto hindi ito uh, theory. This is really theory come uh, coming alive yes. in the activities of young people like them. Kaya talaga you deserve to be an everyday hero. Ano ang sasabi mo dyan, Chico? Nako, totoo yan, Mami. Uh, I'm, I was earnestly listening to Kiel and I asked myself, what what have I been doing all my life? <laughs> the joke lang, Kiel. Pero, uh, nako, Kiel, ano, uh, my, my prayer for you because I want to honor you for your body of work. Sana magtuloy-tuloy yan, no? Um, and and with, this leads me to my next question. I, I'm curious to know, no? After graduation, what are your plans? Uh, di ba, Mami? Kasi ibang, ibang usapan yan. This is the real world, di ba? And sometimes it, it, it may be, it, it can be a cruel, a very cruel world. Um, sabi ko nga, Mami, sa ko, baka malay mo, we are seeing the next uh, president of the Philippines <laughs> na doctor at the same time, di ba? Hindi, hindi posible. Kiel, what are your plans after graduation? So, of course, I do have some plans pa, pero of course, I surrender it rin po to God kasi there are a lot of, pl- of requests na I wanted nung junior high school. But he didn't give it to me, but he eventually gave it to me. Ngayon, sa streets to schools. But um, if my plans go along, um, I want to go to medicine school and then I want to have a master's degree rin po sana on sustainable development or bioethics. <laughs> Very random. But... Uh, above all of that is to be able to practice ophthalmology po and to be able to teach college students bioethics as well. Because I think bioethics po talaga yung nag-awaken rin po sa akin na we really need to uh, not just uh, care for people but to ethically consider po yung 
what is the best way to help them and um other than that i also want to work po sana as a diplomat i want to connect yung mga different <laughs> ideals of countries po so that we can bring out the best practices in all of us oh so wonderful <laughs> nakakatuwa yan na chito napakadaming <laughs> dreams ni Kiel, <laughs> but i'm very sure he will be able to pursue that kasi nandoon yung passion ni Kiel, and i'm sure he has the support of his family and friends as well. <laughs> Teka lang. Pero bago tayo mag oh, talagang nagsasign si Kiel, oh, 'di ba? Pero Kayang, kaya, bago tayo kaya, mag, kaya, ano, mami. <laughs> bago tayo magpatuloy. Baka may shout outs tayo eh. Ah, Correct. meron ba? Ayun. Oh, hello ma. Oh, hello Malu. Hello. <laughs> oh, 'di ba? Ayun. Sabi mo, naman. Oo, oh, oh, sabi yeah. ni <laughs> Miss Ma and Tipton, go, 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 Kiel, lakas. Si, si Kiel lang ang uh, malakas. <laughs> okay. <Ako> si Alexa. <laughs> Alexa uh, at <laughs> Ta, uh, yes. Uh, 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 wow. Uh, I... Si Mildred Mariano, greetings from Tomasinong Kapampangan, Maya Pagat Panapon, porque kayo nga, ayan, ang mga kabalit. Oh, ba? Diba? President siya ng ano, tumasinong kapangpangan si Doktora Mildred. O wow. si, ayan ka. Uh, si Doktor Mariano. Zamora. Good evening, Doktor Mariano. <laughs> Sabi po ni Ma'am Marilyn uh, Canyo, we need more young leaders like Yel. He is glowing with enthusiasm. And I want to invite you to be a JC International member. I want to endorse you. Wow. Ayan, wow. Ayan. wow. Yes. Why not? Meron diba? ka ng JCI fans. Ka na. <laughs> Ma'am Songko, ayan, si Ma'am Teresita Mir. Ang sabi po very niya ay very... Very inspiring daw. Correct. Very inspiring oh, oh, for very the inspiring poor. Very inspiring project for the poor. Sabi po ni uh, uh, Sir Fernando Pedrosa, congratulations to Kiel, the ever energetic, innovative, and servant leader herself. And another former student leader, Chito, mabuhay po kayo. Wow. Salamat wow. po sa panonood. Ayan. Watching oh. from... Si Iklip. Watching from uh, Marawi. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, Ma'am Ida. <laughs> si Ma'am Ida may sinabi, so inspiring daw, oh. Tapos sabi ni Tess, I just hope mapanood ng mga kabataan natin ngayon. Totoo naman, no, Chito? Mm -mm. Ako, isa -share ah, ko sa bago natin Facebook pagpatuloy, natin. Chito, ah. <laughs> Alam ko, merong video, eh. Kiel, meron ka bang ipapakitang video? Yeah. Just to give our viewers an idea of what you're doing. Okay? Yeah. I hope you get inspired po with this video. <laughs> Ladders to Literacy envisions children creating storybooks on the problems in their community. We believe change takes a lot of time, which is why it is important to start young. Organized by the youth, we believe this is an innovative approach to ESD, as we are able to measure the literacy of the children by having them publish their own storybooks. This gives them an opportunity to fund their education and SDG initiatives in the community, which is why this is a constant co-learning process between beneficiaries, families, volunteers, and our partners to celebrate the SDGs in a wholesome way. Education is not inclusive for every child, which is why this education in the community setting is important, as we are able to give education to those who cannot go to school and to those who are at risk of dropping out in school. This gives them the opportunity to become part of the solution in their socio-economic problems. This project observes the UNCRC and it aims to create a safe space for the children where they can fully express themselves and nurture their own potential through academic and play. It usually starts with a storytelling session which revolves around the themes of the SDGs such as education, gender, poverty, and more, and then proceeds to physical activities depending on the child's mood or what they're ready to do. But streets to schools cannot do it alone. <laughs> We 
We've had multiple partnerships with organizations such as APD, AFS, Jesse Robreda Foundation, and the local communities and barangays because we believe that global citizenship begins grassroots going up alongside the communities living in poverty. And it means a lot to us seeing the communities and other stakeholders grow. Wow! <laughs> Medyo na TV ay ako doon, Kiel, ah. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. That was a trip down memory lane. <laughs> o, oh, nakakatuwa, hindi ba? Young as they are. Sige, o, oh, baka naman naiiyak ka, Chito, dyan, ha? Kiel. Uh, sorry, wala na tayong masyadong oras. So, Kiel, what is your final wor- uh, message to our viewers tonight? Uh, so, to, especially to my College of Nursing friends, hello po. St- thank you for tuning in. I think nag-tune in po sila. Ali, Alexa, sila Stephen. <laughs> thank you po. Uh, we still have homeworks to do. <laughs> um, thank you so much po for listening, guys. I hope that young people are inspired. Um, let's do this not for the sake of the recognitions or the awards. Let's always do it for the people. At the end of the day, this Youth Service America Everyday Young Hero Award is just a platform. It doesn't mean that I made it. It doesn't mean that I'm better than any of you. It just means that there's so much more work to do. And I hope I can do it alongside all of you. Napakagaling, uh, Mami. <laughs> what we heard uh, in the last 30 minutes, parang I've heard in, in, in my lifetime. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> And um, of course, Mami, we'd like to thank uh, uh, several organizations. So, that... Kiel, congratulations again. Sorry, Mami, may, may lag po yata na konti. Go ahead, go ahead, uh-huh. Mami. Go, go ahead. Sige, sige. Thank you, Kiel. Ha? Thank you for coming, for guesting in Bridges tonight. And I believe you have inspired many of our viewers tonight uh, with all the things that you have shared. Once more, congratulations, Chito. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Sonko. And of course, we would like to thank uh, the College of Nursing, Class of 1970 Philippine uh, Group. Uh, Of course, uh, the UST Alumni Association. And um, uh, please follow the the UST Alumni Association Facebook group and visit our website at usdalumniassociationinc.org. Uh, please support our Thomasian Alumni Community Exchange or TAC Exchange, the online market where Thomasian alumni sellers and buyers meet. So if you have items for sale or if you're looking for alumni souvenir items, message us at our Facebook page. So yun po, uh, Ma'am Songko. Okay. And of course, tonight uh, we've seen that uh, indeed we have choices. The young people have choices. They can choose or we can choose to be good in our studies, to have heart for the least, the lost, and the lonely, and to serve the community. Or we can just choose not to care, or we can choose not to serve. But I hope, of course, you will choose to care and to serve. Congratulations to the College of Nursing. Your students and alumni are indeed born by heart, illuminating with excellence, and leading by example. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat sa ating mga pagkapakinig at saka sa UST Alumni Association, Inc. and the College of Nursing, Batch 1970, Philippines. Uh, we have, of course, um, Chito, we have two special items, no? Cargasus, yes, a beautiful storybook for young and old alike that is a creation of Father Edgardo Alaurin, OP, Regent of the College of Fine Arts and Design, and a set of Katinko products in beautifully painted wooden box. You can give this box as your gift to someone special, siyempre. And thank you to all the BOT and USDAAI of the USDAAI to all our volunteers in the association, and to all the staff of CBRC. Thank you so much. Join us again on Sunday, March 14 at 6 p.m. 
Let us all be inspired to love life as we listen to Dr. Josephine Lumitao from the UST Faculty of Medicine and Surgery. Chito? Yes, ma'am. Uh, thank you, ma'am. It has been a pleasure and honor to be your co-host for this afternoon. And of course, to Kiel, our very special guest. We learned a lot from him tonight. And uh, sa inyo pong lahat, thank you everyone for joining us this evening. And of course, here at Bridges, we do not build walls. We build connections of learning. We build connections of people. Goodbye and God bless all of us. And of course, here at CBRC, we build bridges of faith, bridges of hope, bridges of love. Thank you very much, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Good night. Welcome to Bridges here at CBRC.tv. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. Hi, good evening, Dr. Evelyn Songko at sa mga viewers ng ating Bridges. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again. Another... And hello, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon to our uh, viewers on Bridges here on CBRC.tv.